Welcome you back inside Larry H. Miller Field at Miller Park on the BYU campus in Provo, Utah for a midweek in-state game between the BYU Cougars and the Trailblazers of Utah Tech. And Cole, opposite field, deep to left. Left fielder may not have caught it off the bat, drifting back to the track, and that'll be into the pines! A two-run shot, opposite field. The wind carrying it to left field and out. The Cougs, two, the Trailblazers, no score for Cole Gamble. Home run number five on the year. As Hardman begins his windup, and that's up in the zone and fisted into short right field. Ozzie's going to dig for two, and that'll be a short right field double for Ozzie Pratt. He was going all the way for two, and Ozzie Pratt with his 10th double of the year. The second Cougar with double figure doubles to Luke. And he'll ground that off the back heel of the pitcher under the second baseman into center field. Ozzie Pratt's going to come home, and it's a run-scoring single for Luke Anderson. BYU has a 3-2 lead, including today. And that's Deming deep to center field. Center fielder back into the track, and we'll watch that go into the pines. It's a two-run home run for Austin Deming. Welcome back to the lineup. Home run number eight, and the Cougs take a 5-2 lead. Second home run of this game for BYU. Cole Gamble, now Austin Deming, and that's how you get back in the lineup. Two-run shot, like he never left. So runners on the corners now for Jacob Wilk, who's on a three-game hit streak coming in two tonight, and you can make it four. That'll be a base hit to left field. One run will score, going hard first to third is best. He'll go standing up, and it's still on the corners. It's a two-out RBI for Jacob Wilk. A single to left, and Jacob makes it 6-2 to two, BYU. And that's hit sharply opposite field to left, and it will go to the wall. Chad Call brings Cooper Vest home. Jacob Wilk will round third. The throw to home at the plate, at the plate, and Wilk is gunned out at the plate. That'll do it for BYU and out on the base pass. But it is an RBI double for Chad Call, and the Cougs make it 7-2. to two. Cole rests the bat on his left shoulder and drives that, pulls it to right, and that will be his second home run of the night into the Pines. For home run number six on the year, second on the evening, it's another Zions Bank home run. Cole Gamble, solo shot, his third RBI of the night, and the Cooks push the lead back to five at eight to three. Two balls, no strikes, grounder to Deming, Deming off from a knee, throws to second for one, over to first four, two, and the Cooks get out of the inning on a 5-4-3 DP, well turned and started by Austin Deming at third base. Full count again. One out, bases loaded. Smith kicks and deals. Grounded to second. Luke Anderson handles the scoop to second for one, to one for two. A 4-6-3 DP to get BYU out of the inning. No damage done. Boston comes set, kicks and deals. And low. And a called strike. And a delayed called strike. And that'll be it. He does strike out the side. The ball bounced away from the catcher. Batter stays in the batter's box. And a bit of a delayed call from the umpire. But yes, it goes as a strikeout. On a ball where the barrel came off the shoulder, but looked to be low and away. Either way, it's called strikeout. And BYU ends the game with Boston maybe a striking out the side in the ninth. So swinging, looking, and looking. And that'll do it. BYU wins it 8-5. Boston gets the save.